Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Key. This is Key's Plan Life. So guys, we are budgeting. I know in my last video, I was doing an introduction to it, letting you know what we got, what, what you can expect from me, what's in store, how we're going to be budgeting. So this time we are going to do a breakdown. I have my phone here so I can go in and pull up what I need to pull up. Now, what I'm reading on my phone, you'll see over here because I actually did a whole little thing. Um, and if you want to know how to do this, you can do it on Canva. It's really easy. They have different layouts. It's really easy to do. So, this is October October's budget at a glance. So, we're going to start with the to-do for the month is to get my nails done. I have to get my nails done, y'all. I broke that nail. And I'm, I get my nails done and my nails and feet done once a month. So it typically costs me $125 because what I do just to save a little money. Because um, number one, my toes get shellac polish. So that's like $57. And then my nails, what I'm learning to do. Because I used to be one of them girls that had to have all those designs. I don't have to have that no more. I just simply have her paint them a new neutral color. And then I got polish at home. I come home and polish my nails whatever color I want. I'm not really about the designs. It don't really make me... I'll probably do a design for a special occasion, but for the most part, everyday nails, I painted these myself because I wasn't going to pay the extra money, and it was way cheaper to do it. So, for October, I got to get my nails done, which I'm going to do on the 20th. I need to pay on my afterpay. It says pay off, but I'm going to just pay on it. Um, I think I owe like $600 more on afterpay, so I'm going to pay on it. The goal is to pay $200 more on it. Um... And then my goal is to save no eating out and no buys. So I will not be eating out this month. I will be packing my lunch. If I don't pack my lunch, I will have to wait till I get home to eat. Uh, I am going to go to Sam's and get some things of oatmeal. Because normally if I eat breakfast, I can wait. I can make it home. Um, and what's been helping me is I have Campbell's soups, different types of Campbell's soups. Put a little salt in them. And they be good to go for work. Because, you know, I'm not trying to be full at work. I'm just trying to put some on my stomach. Um, no buys. I'm not buying wigs. I'm not buying shoes. I'm not buying makeup. I'm not buying perfume. I'm not buying anything that I would normally buy, which is clothes, shoes, wigs, perfumes, bags. I'm not buying none of these. If it's not household supplies like toilet paper, washing powder, cleaning supplies, um, personal items, I'm not buying it. Um, savings. For my savings, I planned the joint because this month was kind of off because of my sister's birthday and us buying the furniture that we bought. So it kind of threw us off for the month. For the joint, I plan on saving $200. For the personal savings, I plan on saving $150. For the emergency rainy day, probably nothing. Um, but don't quote me on this. This is just for October. I think for November, I'm going to focus more on building our rainy day fund because I want to at least get that to 1500 just to have for emergency. So I think I'm going to get back to focusing on that. So this is going to change in November. This is just October. This will definitely change in November. Um, so the emergency rainy day right now is zero. The Christmas fund, because I have a Christmas account. Um, it's $25. So altogether, I plan on putting up $375. My major money goal is to save $400, but what I round it off would be probably $375 this month. Um, so my budget, my total income is $4,067. My extra expected income is $0. The total bill expenses is $2,224. My rent is $9.78. My rent is possibly going to go up because I did do a rent increase. So it's possibly going to go up. Um, and that $9.78 was, we had a good run for a four bedroom, two car garage house. The square footage that we got, it was good because right now the housing market is sick. So I expected it to go up. So November's rent will be different because we'll have a, we'll, it's going to go up. 
Just Energy, we didn't have a light bill this month because we had a credit. Uh, Xfinity Mobile, 267 because I have three lines on my three lines on my account. I'm paying for two phones. And we have two watches. I have my Apple Watch and my husband's Apple Watch on there. Um, yeah. My son, my youngest son's phone, it got turned out. Because if you ain't making a grade, you don't get the privilege of having a cell phone that I got to pay for. We're not doing it. And he don't do nothing that way. He, come, he go to school, come straight home. Because he ain't got no privileges right now. Um, The other phone, as soon as I pay it off, I'm going to get it cut off. So there will only be two phone lines plus the two watches on my account. But I didn't want to cancel the line until I paid the phone off. Um, let's see. Xfinity Internet is $41. That's my bill every month. Um, Center Point. Center Point is $48. I've already paid that bill. I've already paid the rent. Canva is $14. I use Canva because it's a great editing software. I make my th thumbnails using Canva. I make my Instagram posts, my uh, Facebook posts. So, for me, it's necessary. Uh, car insurance 267 uh, capital one credit card is $25 I'm gonna put the balances for each card here because like I said I have four credit cards in the previous video I told you I had four credit cards so my regular capital one credit card that um, I paid 25 the other capital one silver card I paid 25 the capital one Savoy I paid 25 and the mission lane credit card I paid 35 I am currently just paying the minimum on these cards just because it's not, nothing but a $200 credit limit on two of them and a $300 credit limit on the other one. The highest credit limit is my Mission Lane one and that's a $600 credit limit. Like I said, my stuff don't total up. It total up to maybe right now my balance is maybe $1,000, maybe $1,100, $1,200, but it's not much. Um, so I am paying the minimum. Um... I don't know if that's going to change in November, but that's what it is right now. YouTube, $7. Nails, my nails are $125. But that's my nails and my feet. And I only get it done once a month because my nails and my toes last. My toes will last two months. I just have to go in with my little scrub and, scrub and exfoliate and all that. But my toes, my polish down there for two months and it'll be looking good. My nails, I got to get them done once a month. Um, Google photo storage, I pay 14 just because as soon as my video, I finish filming, my videos get uploaded to Google and it gets downloaded to my computer. And the storage, I pay for the storage because I wasn't going to pay for the iPhone storage because I, it didn't make sense because iPhone, when you upload to Google, takes forever. But when I film from my other thing, my other, uh, filming stuff, it goes straight to Google, no problem. So, I'd rather just pay for the Google storage than the iPhone storage. Um, gas, $100. Um, ties, I already paid my ties for this month. So, that's why it says in a household supplies, $50. I've already bought the household supplies for the month. Furniture, $250. Um, just because we pay for our mattress already, but we're still paying on the couch. The vacation, we are paying on our cruise because we just, we just, our cruise, we don't go on our cruise till June of 2024. So we was like, we got time. We could just pay on it. We don't have to pay the whole thing right there. We just pay on it. So as long as it's paid up by March, we good. So we ain't worried about that. Uh, after pay, because I'm trying to get this messed down. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, so far, I paid a hundred and something. I want to say a hundred and fifty dollars, and the goal is to pay three seventy. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is the breakdown of my monthly bills. Um, that is my income, hubby's income. Um, as far as what we pay, his portion and my portion. Uh, for my cell phone bill and for my little other bills outside of our household bills, I put in a little extra just to cover my stuff, but he put it in his portion for the bill, so we good. Um, yeah, so that is the breakdown for the month. Like I said, November is definitely going to change. 
because I just I want to see how I'm gonna maneuver, how I'm gonna break down everything. This is just what October looks like. Um, I am going to go over November's budget with a fine tooth comb just to have because I like the budget have my budget set for the next three months just so I know what I'm looking at. Like my normal bills won't never change. I know my rent finna change. I don't know how much it's gonna increase too, so I'm waiting to see that. I'll know that on the 17th of October and I'll incorporate that into November. Um, we're going to do something different with the savings. Like I said, instead of pouring into the joint account like we were doing, we're going to go ahead and pour, it, pour it into the rainy day fund because I want to at least put a hundred, hundred $150 up. Well, at least a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars every month every two weeks in a rainy day fund period just a hundred dollars straight in a rainy day fund um so we're gonna be doing that and you guys know we are back on the five dollar challenge and the one dollar challenge we're just doing everything digital um so like i told you the way i'm doing that is the odd numbers so for instance if i have a thousand dollars i spend a dollar they leave me with 999 dollars well, I would take the odd number, which is the nine, put five, put nine dollars, because that's the five and that's four ones. So I would put that in my savings. That's the five and one challenge. So all odd numbers go into the uh, savings account. So at the end of the day, I'll check, see what my odd number is, put it in a savings account like that. Something. Hold on. Okay, my husband let me know he made it to the bowling thing. Hold on, guys. His um, co-worker is leaving the company. And they're having a going away thing for him today. As with straight employees invited. So, he was just letting me know he made it. But, yeah. That is what our budget for November is going to look like. I do have some things that I want to accomplish before the year end. And... I think I could go ahead and share that with you guys. You guys will see that on this screen right here as well. Um, To-do list. We need a TV for the living room because our other TV blew out. We need a wallpaper for, bath for the downstairs bathroom because I started doing it, but I ran out of wallpaper, so I need like three more rolls and then I'll be done. We need a nice stand for the nice stands for the office. I'm gonna put two nice stands on each end of the uh, couch in the office. We need a rug for the living room. I, it's just I love it's something about a rug in the living room that makes a living room look really nice. So I need a rug because we gave our son, our oldest son, all our living room furniture, the rugs, the bar stools. We gave it all to him for his apartment. So we bought new furniture, but now I need a rug. <laughs> Um, silverware. We have silverware, but I want more. I mean, we need more silverware. Pillows. We just bought a very expensive mattress. And it gives us good sleep, but we need neck support too. So we need good pillows. So that's our next, next investment. A bathroom rug because it's time for a new bathroom rug. Um, suitcases for our trips. I want to go ahead and get our suitcases out the way. Uh, bedroom rug. I need a I need an area rug because our whole house is ceramic tile And when you hit that when your feet hit that floor your feet are freezing cold because that floor is cold I want a rug that an uh, area rug for the bed. So when your feet hit the floor, it's gonna hit that carpet So <laughs> we're that's our Investments and we're gonna do a little bit at a time. It's not something we're just gonna go by at one time I'm gonna check each thing off the list each pay period, we'll see which one of these things that's on the list that we can afford to do. And we'll do it that way. I'm not in a rush. I'm not going to kill myself trying to do it. But these are things that we do need to take care of for the house. Those would probably be the only things you see us buy outside of household cleaning supplies, personal items, and um, everyday home items that we need. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed November's budget. Um... I will be coming back during my next pay period to show you how we're going to utilize that paycheck and what we're going to do with those funds. So I will be taking you along with me because like this is about accountability and showing you guys how I'm budgeting. I'm going to make a few mistakes along the way, but we're going to get it together and we're going to get it right. 
and I'm healing. So, yeah. And if you got any ideas or anything you want to share that you think will be helpful, feel free to put it in the comment section. Or you can DM me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Facebook. You can... Well, however you want to contact me, you can contact me. Please be respectful on this channel. We don't have time for negativity, but we will take criticism. Um, just be nice <laughs> because I throw black parties like nobody's business. And I will block and ban you if you get disrespectful or you come with something that is negative or meant to be harmful or hurtful. So, um, I will see you guys in two weeks actually um yeah i'll see you guys in two weeks when i get paid and we'll do a paycheck breakdown so this is what i plan for october um and we're gonna see how we do with the next paycheck so remember to think smart spend smart and have fun planning y'all out i am key and this is key's playing life and i will see you guys in my next video bye